So those are both famous places for those people. Young vacation, they are very busy. They are very busy time for them. Uh, and they are really everywhere. Okay, so be very, very careful. In a street, for example, you're walking in a street, you have somebody crossing you and pretending, find a golden ring, walk away. Already try? No? Sometimes some people will try to pretend to find a golden ring right in front of you. The person will say, oh, is it yours? And you'll say no. And the person will say, well, I don't want it, you know. Can you buy it for me? Huh? So just walk away. Some people come to you and uh, say, do you speak English? Walk away. Unless, of course, it's really a tourist. Huh? But most of the time, walk away. You take the metro, be very careful. If you have a backpack, carry in front of you. Gentlemen, you have very large pockets. Do not put your wallet in your pocket. Ladies, hold your bag tight in front of you. If you can, try to avoid to talk each other in English because then they know right away you're a tourist. You're a target. If you enter the train, people pushing at the same time to enter the train, be careful. There might be pickpockets. You stand in the metro, it's very, very crowded. You have a pickpocket visiting a person that you're so Very, very careful. What do we have across the river on the right? The Louvre Museum. Along the quays on the right, you can see some book stall. They sell some Porsche books, posters, very nice, and they all are sort of very colorful along the quays. They are called the Bookinist. Why Bookinist? Because originally they used to sell only uh, old books. Book in French is Livre, and Livre in slang is Bouquin. That's what they were called, Bookinist, from the word Bouquin. So those bicycles and you can rent, you see the bicycle, the beige one, like on the right, two of them, which belong to the city, lots of bar uh, parking for bicycles, anyone can use them. First you have to use your credit card for a deposit. Every day you take the bicycle, you, use, you pay first one euro. Look on the right, in the distance, that's the island where we were, with the uh, spy of the central hill, the spy of Notre Dame. Left and side behind you, the uh, Dorsey Museum, behind. Uh, on your left, as well, the glass roof as the Grand Palace on the one which houses the Andy Warhol exhibition. And then every time you take the bicycle, the first half an hour is free of charge. Second one is one euro, third one is two euros. But keep in mind that the first half an hour is always free of charge, which means you can take a bicycle, you ride for half an hour, you drop it at any other bicycle parking station, but not necessarily the one you took the bicycle from anywhere, and you take another one. Half an hour, free of charge. And you do that all day. So we're back by the Louvre Museum, we have to go to drive down the tunnel. At the other tunnel on the right hand side, have a quick look, you'll see the glass pyramid which was built by the architect born in Bangalore, China, that became American, Mr. I M P. You can see it already on the right hand side quickly. There it is, behind the tree. And you'll see a little bit better at the other tunnel on the right hand side. the golden statue representing Jeanne d'Arc. Can you hear about Jeanne d'Arc? Her English name is Joan of Arc. She was living in the 15th century. In those days, um, it was the war between France and England. French were going to lose. She was living in the countryside. One day she heard the Virgin Mary talking to her, asking her to dress like a military person, take the army from the English. That's what she did. Then French were the winners. At the end of the battle, everybody realized that she was not a man, just a girl, so they asked her how she could do that. She explained because Mary talked to her. No one believed her. She had a trial and she was convinced guilty. Because she kept saying Mary talked to her, she was considered like a witch. What were we doing? The people were considered like a witch. They were her at the stake. When she died, she was 19 years old. Many years later, we did her trial one more time, just a bit late, huh? She wasn't even there. And guess what? She was found not guilty. Too late. So she became a very and saint. And now we call her Saint Joan of Arc. And there are five statues representing Joan of Arc in Paris.